guys welcome back to another video i hope you are all doing okay i am sorry about the complete different background that i am usually in i'm actually away on holiday at the moment and i filmed this video before i left like a few days before i left um but today's upload day and i completely forgot that i forgot to film my intro and outro so here i am doing it last my way if that is not commitment then i'd love to know what is um yeah today i'm basically doing a little video for you guys which has been somebody requested this quite a few weeks ago was a bit of a tutorial on my almond frenchies and this is what i've gone for for my holiday nails it is i'm pretty boring when it comes to holiday nails i know people love like bright neon kind of holiday nails but i am just i'm a sucker for a classic so we did almond frenchies and um, I did a shape change as well. We had square previously. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing a Biab infill, which I know I've done before, but this is with the new product by Glitter Bells, which I know you guys have been intrigued by um, just because of the recent switch over. So I filmed that for you guys. And obviously I did some almond Frenchies. I didn't actually film the um, process of me doing the Frenchies, but I did a TikTok on it. And the reason I didn't was just because I was so crazy busy. Um, the last week before I went away, I just didn't have time to film the the um, the Frenchy section. But I've done, I filmed my uh, shape change and I filmed my biab infill and just kind of the finished look for you guys. So hopefully you find it helpful. And as always, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. But yes, these are the final look. I went for my Alma Frenchies, which are one of my favourites. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the video and we will get into it. Right, so this is how my nails are looking at the moment. I want to keep as much length as possible because I'm gonna go almond, but I actually like my almond a little bit longer. Um, so I don't wanna take any length down, but basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab my barrel bit and I'm just gonna go over and take some, I would say bulk, but they're not bulky at all. Just, just basically go over the top, get rid of the top coat. So I've just taken the top coat off and basically if you um, obviously had any gel colour over this, I would obviously take that off as well with the barrel bit, but I didn't have any gel colour on top, that was literally just the builder. So I just took the top coat off and what I'm basically going to do, because I'm doing a shape change, I'm just going to show you how I do my shape change from square to almond. So previously, when I, many moons ago, when I basically first started, I would literally just start hacking at these with a file and reshape them all, which is so much effort. And I don't recommend that because it takes so much time. What I actually do is I try and save some time by using my e-file. What I'll do is I'll just turn it down slightly just to like 10,000 RPM. And what I'll do is, what the, how this works is this drill bit now is going forward. So I use this side to, I'm actually gonna turn that up from 10 to 12. So I just take these corners off, but you need to make sure that it, whichever side you're doing, you obviously either have it forward or reverse. So for the left side, I always have it on um, forward. And then what I'll do is I'll go back in, change it over to reverse and then do the right side. So I'll just take those corners off. Like so. So obviously you've got one of the corners gone now. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna change it over to reverse and then do the other side. Thank you. 
So as you'll see, you'll have a very ugly shape at the moment, but I've just literally taken those corners off so that when I go in my file, all I've got to do is neaten them up and reshape them because otherwise you will be there for a long time. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my file. This is a 180-240 file and I'm going to use the 240 side to just start on this side here and basically just start shaping them into the shape that you want. Obviously, I'm going almond. So just make sure that it is nice and smooth, obviously flush here on this side. And then what I do is I just kind of like feather it down like this to try and make a nice almond shape because you don't want to be filing too much towards the end because that is where uh, obviously you want to make sure the shape is perfect you don't want to be hacking into it too much and then what you'll see is obviously if you have any kind of like side edges that you need to to neaten up obviously i've still got some little bits here i'll just go up at it from the underneath and just get rid of that nail just take this nice and slow because obviously it's a very like specific shape so you want to make sure that you are making sure it's perfect because like I say, you don't want to be going too hard with your file because you can completely mess up the shape with almond. When you've got like a square nail or something like that, obviously you're still keeping it square. Um, but obviously with almond, like it's a little bit, diff bit different. So yeah, that's literally all I do. I've not had, I've not put too much pressure on with my file whatsoever. I'm just going around that free edge and just neatening that up. And there we have it. So I've not, like I say, I've not put any pressure on really. I've just been going over that with my, my 240 file and neating that up. So what I'll do is I'll go over the rest of them and then I will come back to you when it's done. So there we go all of my nails are reshaped and just one thing that i wanted to just kind of remind you guys is that when you are filing you just want to make sure that your corners have been taken off your new files so literally just get an, another file and just rub it down the sides of each corner like that and just to make sure that there's no sharp edges like this is a new file but you can see here that i've just taken off the sides of here so this is not sharp at all because when you're doing almond you're getting very very close up to the skin obviously when you're reshaping um so yeah just make sure that you're taking the sides kind of like the edges off your files when you are filing because you don't want to cause any cuts to your clients so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab my five in one bit and this is absolutely perfect for now going around this cuticle area so what I do is I just get that nice and tucked in because with this file, because of the shape of it, you'll see it's really fine up here and like very um, coarse down there. So the very tip of it is so, so fine that you can really get close to the edges and just make sure that they are 
completely there's no ridges for your infill you want to make this as a smooth area as possible because as soon as you pop your new builder on there you just want it to self level really really nicely and i also take the opportunity at this stage to just take a little bit of my builder gel down just because when you're doing infills you are obviously adding more products on and you don't want the nail to be getting bulky obviously infill after infill so yeah i just go around all these cuticle areas just make sure there is no ledges or anything like that. Just take a little bit of the product down and just to get it prepped for infill. And then also at this stage as well is as this, as this builder gel starts to get thinner, if there is any lifting at all, you will be able to see it. As the product gets thinner, you can see the, the kind of different colour. If I see any, I will point it out to you. But it kind of like looks like a lighter colour and you'll be able to see that that bit's lifted a little bit. So with this file, you'll be able to just, um, with this drill bit, sorry, you'll be able to literally just go over that area and remove any lifting at the same time. So I've just given them a little bit of a brush down so that you can see. But that is my nails reshaped and I'm ready for my cuticle work now. So you'll be able to go in with your cuticle bits and just make sure that your cuticles are all prepped. But as, as far as reshaping and prepping for um, the infill, that is all done. So I'm just grabbing my flame bit and I'm just going to go in and do my cuticle prep now. So there's my prep done. I just need to dehydrate, which I'm going to grab now and just go around the grown out areas. And then, so basically my prep is pretty much the same. The application, however, I do slightly differently. If you watched my full application video, then you will see that I did it a little bit differently on that one too. But what it is that I find with the Glitter Bells Builder Gel is that it is a completely different consistency. Yeah, it's a lot thinner consistency, which is absolutely fine by me. I don't mind, but it just means that my application is a little bit different. And what you're going to need is a fine liner. I'm using the Nobu one. This is the 15mm end. And basically what I do is I used to do four nails and then the thumb separate. But now I do literally one nail at a time because I have found that when I basically placed the product, by the time I got to, like, say, the little finger, this finger had started moving because the, the consistency is just a little bit thinner. The build gel that I'm going to be using is this cotton candy one. Um, this is the shade that I've got on this hand. I need to soak off the other hand because I've actually got a different shade on that hand. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my builder gel bead just there. Right, sorry about that. My storage decided that it was full when I was in the middle of that nail. So that one's done now, but I will show you again on this one. So I will place the product here 
and just leave a few millimeters to the cuticle and just push that back with my brush into the edges. I just want to take a little bit of that product off because I don't want that much on there. So yeah, just push that back into the cuticle, into the side walls, just bringing that down and over the nail like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my fine liner and just go over any areas that I want to go over so i've just done that second one and as you'll see like the self leveling leveling on this builder is like so much better there's a lot less refining needed um so i've just gone down the down the side walls with my fine liner and i'm just setting each one for 99 seconds but yeah that is pretty much what i do is i just place the bead around about here and what i always do is make sure as well that I'm not going in with too much product because it's better to have not enough than too much because you can always add it in. So I just push that back towards the cuticle. And into the side walls as best that I can. And then just go down with the rest of the product. Again, just neatening up the side walls, getting those tucked in. And I just like to check it from a side profile as well because, because you're placing the product here, sometimes it can sit too high up. So sometimes I'll just drag my fine liner down the nail just to make sure that it is nice and self-leveled. And this is why when you're filing, you need to make sure that you're, there's no ledge there, there's no kind of bulkiness, because from the side profile, and when you infill it, it will be a lot more noticeable. So I'm just setting that for 99 seconds, and then I'll do the rest. So there we go, they are all done. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a lint-free wipe with some acetone and just wipe off that tacky layer. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my 180 file and I'm just going to go around and just neaten up that shape again. It's not going to need too much work, but sometimes I can just see that um, I just like to neaten the shape afterwards just to make sure it is perfect. So there we go, that is the Builder Gel all infilled. Now I'm gonna be adding Frenchies to these. Um, obviously you, you can do what you want with them. We can either leave them plain or put some, build, um, some normal gel over them or a design or French or anything you want to do. So I'm gonna be doing Frenchies with these and I will show you the final look. So there we go, they are all done now. So I'm just gonna add some cuticle oil, which is my favorite bit. Now, if you haven't heard of this brand, I have cuticle oil in the scent Blueberry. Oh my goodness gracious me. It smells absolutely incredible. I literally only heard about it not that long ago. And now I have like every single scent, but the Blueberry one is definitely my fave. So yeah, I'm just popping this on now and then we will be all done. Well, I say all done. I've still got my other hand to do. Yay. <laughs> right. So there we go. They are all finished now and holiday ready. Um, I'm so happy to have Almond Frenchies back because I missed them. They are probably up there with one of my fave. Um, but yeah, so I hope you've um, found it helpful and um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. So there you go guys, I hope you found that helpful. I am obsessed with the final look. Um, I was hoping that this hand would catch up a little bit because these are a little bit shorter than these ones, but it's fine, we're not gonna deep it. 
Um, but yeah, I hope you found it helpful and um, I'll just show you my view before I go. This is my view from my balcony, which is me at the moment away, which I am, oh, I'm just so happy to be away. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you when I get home. Bye.